anybody to speak about Dr. Lincoln because of the journey that I have managed to take that has inspired me to come get to this point. The order for me standing here today could have never been like in the stage of my faith. I was born in Zimbabwe, a country where today 300 people die every week because there are no surgical switches available for a surgeon to sew together and place it in that they would make. It is a journey that began because my own parents died from HIV AIDS, and it is through that journey visiting hospitals that I saw people dying for the most basic needs. While at the same time, the NHS spends 40 million pounds a year disposing up to about 250,000 tons of surplus waste. What Dr. Lynn does is collaborate with medical supply industries in, that include therapy PLC, the NHS, giving them an alternative route to divert any of their surplus away from landfill to greater needs in Africa. Over a period of 18 months, we've been shipping supplies over the value of a million now. But one of the core issues that is, is come to pass is sometimes those supplies can have arm um, if they are not placed well. So we took time out to do some needs assessments to identify specific needs and where to place them. That leads into the next position where we're going to be here today to people. We are hoping to set up an online portal where for every donation that we receive, it can be put online so that all the needs assessed partners can access it box by box for um, every supply that we have. Not only is this helping us to be accountable to all the partners that are donating their medical supplies, it also helps accountability to everybody else receiving it. As we currently stand, common sense says, they accept us within the UK and beyond. They are needs within developing countries. What healthcare link really does is to match that surplus and the needs overseas. Within Africa itself, for years and years, you find that there have been donations that have been going into Africa. But donations alone sometimes have done more harm than good. There are actually resources that are available within those countries that can help stretch so that what healthcare link is part of this social enterprise. We are engaging with the other companies that are based in those other countries so that they can subsidize other institutions that you actually have. That's where we expect to get our turnover and as well as donations that can be sponsored by corporate partners who can sponsor a container or take some of their team members back to Africa to see where many of the supplies that they've donated would have ended up. Literally, in the UK, we've got a triple four mission. Firstly, to divert any, any environmental, to be environmental stewards, diverting any surplus from the waste stream. Secondly, we are creating opportunity in terms of deployment by getting the people to refurbish any of the equipment before it is sent back to make sure that it is in full working order. And lastly, but the most important, is the global health effort that we advance so well. Thank you very much.